It's clear that there's a leak here in the city of Wellsburg, as you can still smell gas in the air. Now, officials say they evacuated local businesses and homeowners for fear of an explosion. It's not something Wellsburg residents are used to waking up to on a Saturday morning, the smell of gas. I was just like, I need to get out of here because I was afraid it was going to blow up or something. You know, you don't, you don't know. The very reason why fire and EMA crews evacuated area residents and businesses from 4th to 12th Street. EMA Director Bob Fowler says a backhoe struck a high pressure gas line at 4th and Yankee Street just before 7 a.m. The strike spewing gas about 30 feet in the air and blowing fumes around the city. The gas company had to, to literally dig two holes in the ground, dig up the pipe, and then they clamped it off with a clamp on both ends to shut the gas off the affected areas. Gas was shut off a few hours later so repairs could be made. But until then, the leak was an inconvenience for many. Risa Katnick was home just 30 minutes after working a 12-hour nursing shift before having to head to the evacuation shelter, the 12th Street Wellsburg Firehouse. So I walked the dogs around the block, came back home, um, and I was just going upstairs to go to bed. And the doorbell rang, and the dogs went crazy, and that's when they said that they were evacuating everyone. Got up, got dressed, came up here, and I seen the geyser. It was really, it was crazy. Now, we actually had the chance to speak to the gentleman who caused this gas leak. He tells me he was repairing a water line when the unexpected happened. We have a collapsed pipe uh, that we were trying to repair, and we notified all the utilities uh, to, you know, mark their lines and whatnot, and apparently there was a miscommunication. It, it was really scary at first. I mean, I, I didn't know what to do. I ran away from the backhoe, and then before I realized it, I left it running, so I ran back and, and shut it off. Now, EMA Director Bob Fowler tells me he's happy that the emergency response went as planned. Reporting outside the Wellsburg Volunteer Fire Department, Amy Wattis, 7 News.